O-Train Line 1, Stage 1, opened on September 14, 2019, and featured 13 stations from Blair in the east to Tunney's Pasture in the west. The O-Train is quickly being expanded to add additional service coverage in the east, west, and south of Ottawa in a project called Stage 2 LRT. In this video, we will be providing an overview of the eastern extension of O-Train Line 1 that will extend service east of Blair Station to Trim Road in Orleans. This line extension will be over 12 kilometers in length and add five stations to Line 1. An interesting particularity of this segment is that it will be located almost entirely in the highway median of Regional Road 174 and as a result, access to and from the stations for passengers will be via highway overpasses or underpasses and pedestrian bridges. All five stations will be center platform stations. Once completed, local bus routes will be realigned to directly serve the nearest O-Train station, thereby providing a quick and convenient connection to the O-Train and the rest of the city. The line will continue to be served by the Alstom Citadel Spirit LRV with new additional train sets being delivered as part of this project to increase the fleet count. Let us take a look at the future eastern stations and route of O-Train Line 1. Trains will depart from Blair Station and follow the former bus transitway alignment alongside the highway until they reach the rail flyover. At this point, trains will pass over the westbound lanes of the 174 and then dive down into the median where they will remain until the terminus at Trim. The guideway is mostly straight with very few gentle curves thereby permitting trains to operate at high speeds for the majority of the trip. The first station is Montreal, located on an elevated structure between the 174 highway overpasses. Entrances can be found on both sides of Montreal Road located below. Next station, Jeanne d'Arc. Access to the station will be from both sides of Jeanne d'Arc Boulevard overpass with the station platforms located underneath at grade with the highway. Next station, Convent Glen, located underneath the Orleans Boulevard overpass. The entrances will once again be on both sides with the platforms underneath. This station adds rapid transit service to a location that did not previously have bus rapid transit. Next station, Place d'Orleans, which is the main bus station and features connections to nearly all of Orleans. The O-Train station platforms will be in the highway trench underneath Champlain Street and will be accessed via overhead pedestrian walkways. The existing red pedestrian bridge will continue to be used and provide a direct connection between the park and ride, the O-Train, the bus station and the Place d'Orlean shopping centre. A new additional pedestrian overpass will connect the O-Train station to the bus station as a fare paid zone, thereby allowing for transfers between train and bus without passing through fare gates. A third entrance will be located directly on the Champlain Street overpass for those arriving from the north, such as Orleans Wood and Chatelaine Village. After Place d'Orleans, the train will continue to Trim Road and its terminus station. It is important to note that there is the possibility of two future infill stations to be constructed between Place d'Orleans and Trim. They would be located near Orleans Town Centre with the other at Tent Line Road. Trim will be the terminus station and will be located in the formerly occupied space of the old Trim and 174 Highway intersection, which has been relocated further east as part of the project. Access to the station will be by a pedestrian bridge that will cross south to the existing Trim Park and Ride. The station is being built to allow for a future pedestrian bridge to be constructed towards the north to better serve Petrie Island and the residential, commercial and other nearby destinations such as the La Cité campus. Progress on all the stations and the line should reach completion in 2024 with the projected opening in early 2025. You can follow the latest construction progress and learn how you can share your own pictures with us by visiting our O-Train website at otrain.railfans.ca slash snapshot. To learn more about Ottawa's O-Train and the other projects ongoing throughout Canada, make sure to subscribe to Railfans Canada so you do not miss our future content.